Hello, it's me again. Um, what I'm going to do this time is something I've actually taught myself just today. I saw somebody do it and I thought, well, I'm going to have a go. So I had some free samples of wallpaper. Now I'm going to give you a scan round of my studio cum conservatory. And it's the messiest thing ever, but that's just how I work, okay? So, as you can see... I've got stuff absolutely everywhere, including washing. Some of my work. He's a favourite of mine. Little one even behind there. Some still to do. You can see this one here has been painted white, like I said, so it'd be a lovely little money box. And I've got my TV, so I'm all set up. Right me again okay so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to do the tile so I'm going to lift this up and try and put it in position right okay so ordinary household tile okay you have to bear with me for this now where it's been stacked it's just got a few marks so I'm going to clean it up Okay. I'm going to take my PVA mix of 50-50 and to do the bottom base I'm going to use a sponge. Okay. Can you see? What I'm going to do is spread it out evenly. making sure you go slightly over the edges because if, if you're anything like me and you cut the paper the wrong size it doesn't matter now when it's completely covered I just like to make sure it's nice and smooth on this is the easy bit trust me so I've got a nice layer on the tile can you see right this is the fiddly bit because I bite my nails unfortunately so it's quite hard but as you can see here, I've got a bowl with the tiniest touch of washing up liquid and water and I'll leave them to soak for about 5-10 to ten minutes. So you've got your piece of wallpaper, sample, so free, and you have your image. That's cut to size as well as I can do. So what I'm going to do, and this is the fiddly bit, is you have to go to the corner, and this could be a very long video of them struggling. Over to the corner. And it's starting to go. This is the worst part of it, but you do get used to it. Now I think I might have the other side. No, I told you it was going to be a long video. Got it. Right. I just want to say while I'm doing this, I suffer with very, very uh, bad depression and I find that being creative really, really helps. If anybody else feels the same, please put a note on and see if it helps them. Right, as you can see the image now is starting to peel and the whole thing will come off in one go. Okay, discard the back. So I'm left with my image that is incredibly thin it's upside down, there you go Okay, and I'm going to lay him on the tile so as soon as I've laid him on I'll pick the tile up Okay. if it's not quite right you can lift it and put it back on again and if you've got a few bubbles that's fine as well and then you can slightly pull it or if it's not quite in place enough for you but when it's this thin it won't matter because it's got a white background okay so as you can see it's now on the tile so what I'm going to do is get my trusty brush again 
same one with a 50-50 PVA, starting from the centre. doesn't get rid of all the bubbles, but it does help. And just push the bubbles out, but put that thick layer of glue all the way over. You see what I'm doing? I'm going from the centre and I'm pushing all the way out. As I say, I only started doing this today, but I'll have a go. Uh, most of my crafts are like that and I really enjoy it. Can you see in there? I'm going from the centre and I'm putting a really thick layer on so it'll start getting glossy. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not sure about how these coasters will be for heat resistance, so I will be doing some testing tomorrow and let you know. But even for a decorative or for garden tiles or something like that, if you want something unusual, it's ideal. Right, that is totally covered. See, nice and glossy. So now what I'm going to do, because the edges are overhanging a little bit, because I've cut it wrong, doesn't matter, because you just push them down. Don't, I don't know if anybody else has the works where they live, but I absolutely love it for getting bits and pieces and it's dirt cheap as well. Because I'm all about out for note, as we say, where I come from. In fact, I might have it put on my gravestone. I like to do furniture. In fact, I'll do anything. I really want to decoupage some of the windows in this conservatory, but uh, as it's a rental, I don't think I'm going to be allowed. Right, gone all the way round with the glue and I'm just going to push it down with my finger all the way round, making sure that's curly down. Okay, and there you have the result. I'm going to leave that to dry and this is where this one's a bit different. When it's dry, you then put two layers of full PVA on it, spread it all over nice and thick, let it dry and you get a really good sheen to it, okay? Let it dry in between. It only takes about an hour to dry anyway, so it's not a long project. Sorry, I didn't want to break it. Right, what I'm going to do now is... <laughs> a bit like glue, glue Peter. This is one I made earlier. And you can see the sheen that it's got, and it just looks like it's imprinted on the tile. It's very difficult to show you on here, around the edges. And what I'm going to do, if it, to use it for a coaster, I'm going to use some double-sided, um, they're like little tabs that you can use, when I just peel off one side. And I don't know if you can see there, my collection that I've done today. The towels were found in the shed. I'm sure some will have some old white towels that they don't use. You can always ask your friends. The glue is pittance and the wallpaper was free. And I'll probably sell them for about £10 for the set. So it's not a bad bargain if you want to make money out of it. Okay, thank you very much. I'll try and post another one tomorrow. Thank you.